media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So Conor McGregor was actually at the day of a reckoning. And he has some interesting things to say about his plans. Now, he quotes, get me back in there. The Mac has lots to offer and loads to deliver. They are talking Manny here in Saudi. The lads in the UFC aren't really taking any. So the lads are taking Manny. The UFC aren't taking any. McGregor told Talk Sports. My bad. So the lads are here talking Manny, but the UFC aren't aren't saying anything. He goes to say, give me something. I'm supposed to be back in April. It was supposed to be December. For all the figures I brought in this game, I sell more than all of them combined. No one in the history of the fight game has been treated the way I've been getting treated at this minute. From what I came through to what I bring, day F should open the floodgates for me. I'm waiting. My patience is wearing thin on me waiting. Then he also goes to say, tell Manny to grow a set of balls and fight me at a higher weight class. Why not? It's a sport. Uh, I'll put the rest of the articles in the comment section. So basically, in a nutshell, he's calling out Conor McGregor. I mean, Manny Pacquiao. Now, I'm looking at Manny Pacquiao. His last fight was October 2021, where he lost to Ugas. Uh, he lost to WB8 to Ugas. And Conor McGregor last fought July 2021, where he took a... The doctor stopped it to Dustin Porter. Poirier. I'm honestly surprised if Conor McGregor still wants to fight him and Manny Pacquiao. I mean, Manny Pacquiao has been a senator, and he has nothing else to prove. He's also 45 years old, so I don't understand why he's coming back again. I did make a video earlier this year where he wanted to box for the Olympics, but in my opinion, hopefully they don't let that happen. I don't want to see him get hurt, and I don't want to see somebody else get hurt against fighting against one of the greatest fighters of all time. Same thing with Conor McGregor. I honestly thought he was done fighting. He ain't fought in over two years. I don't know what UFC got going on, but they're putting him on ice for right now. And I mean, what else do Conor got left to prove? He did lose his last two fights in a row to to Dustin. And let me see. Something about Conor McGregor. Let's see. I know. Well, I know he's worth hundreds of millions. Let me say that. And he, Conor McGregor, like he's made very smart investments. So, you know, it's not like he needs the money. So, if they were to have this fantasy fight, I would actually watch it. I think the press conference would be interesting. I don't know if Conor would have the same smoke he had for Floyd but you know Manny's also a different kind of fighter but I would actually that would actually be something interesting I think Manny would beat him obviously but I mean we didn't see everything else right you we got YouTubers now that's boxing stars so you know Manny's pretty much retired and you know Conor McGregor on ice so we might as well see some entertainment but ultimately, I don't think UFC is going to let that happen. That was a one-off. It would have to be for some serious, serious money. I don't think that that fight would generate the, that much money. It'd be entertaining. But I just don't see people wanting to see a 45-year-old Manny Pacquiao get in the ring with Conor McGregor. But when you fought Floyd, Floyd was 40. McGregor was, what, 30? 29, 30? And it was the perfect time. And I I know the, I do know that uh Tyson Fury fought in Gongu or whatever, but I I just can't see I don't see it to where 
people will make a return on their investment. But I could be wrong. It is boxing. I could be completely wrong, but that's just my opinion. But tell me what y'all think. Are y'all would y'all actually pay to see something like this? Let me know in the comment section.